So basically, I just got here <clears throat> at the Golden Gloves. If you're gonna watch it, we're gonna watch some live boxing, you feel what I'm saying? This is uh, San Antonio, Texas uh, section, sector of Golden Gloves. So we're gonna watch some guys that I sparred against in action. Uh, this is gonna be a little vlog. Uh, I'll holler at y'all when I'm in there. All right, so we just got here, bro. And uh, I just got here. And let me tell you something. Ooh. So, I y'all, I just arrived here, and uh, they have like a nice concession stand and some and some shopping. So I had I had to get I had to copy this. You know what I'm saying? They had some good Muhammad Ali gear. I got some black hand wraps. You know what I'm saying? It cost about eighty dollars, but you know what? I like to support I like to support businesses. You know what I'm saying? So I'm eating some skills right now, and. I'm about an hour and 15 minutes early. So the fighting don't start until probably like two o'clock. But yo man, it's a good event. They got the lights, got the cameras, got a lot of sponsors out here. And uh, I'm low-key kind of regretting not participating in Golden Gloves this year. I really felt like I should have. And that would make some damn good content, honestly, to compete and win Golden Gloves, you feel what I'm saying? So. Um, I'm not allowed backstage just because I didn't pay for no VIP ticket, which I'm not finna. And uh, other than that, man, it's, it's good. I like it. I love it. First time I had a live boxing event, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the hair's done, though. The hair's done. First time I had a live boxing event, I want to see the hype about. I want to see the I want to see the energy. I want to see the, uh, I want to see them live. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, like, I'm going to compete. I'm not working this hard for no reason i'm going to fucking compete i'm just trying to figure out the good timing and the right weight class for me to compete in you feel what i'm saying and it's no rush it, it, i'm not rushing it but i definitely definitely want to do it in the next three months compete whether it's amateur or pro probably probably more amateur though leave me comments down below if i should go amateur first so, as I'm sitting here waiting for this shit to start, bro, um, it's, it's coming to me that, like, combative sports in general is a very communicative type of sport. People are very tight niche, and you could say helpful to a certain degree. Um, I see a lot of different families out here coming to support their kids, their loved ones, their trainers, whatever the case may be. And, um, dang, we must not crying. Anyway, bro, um, if you got some local boxing or local fights in your city, in your state, in your county, go out and support, bro. Go out and support, please. Please go out and support. Uh, it's a tough, it's a tough sport to get into, and it's even tougher to stay in it. So, when you got your son or daughter that really wants to do something, man, go ahead and let them do it. Go ahead and let them do it, man. My, my kids will be boxers or anything in the fight world. I don't care if it's MMA, jiu-jitsu, karate. I don't care what it is. They're they going to do something in the sports. Come here to raise champions. You feel what I'm saying? But uh, I'll check in with y'all uh, when it's about to start. Hopefully, the fight about to start soon. Yo, it's about to get started, bro. And in case you have a family that's not here today, go to sagloves.com. They can stream this fight. It's happening right now. I just clicked on. It's on. The stream is ready, ready, ready to go. Start. Oh shit.
Oh, nice. I'm still waiting for them to get to my weight class, but the energy in the building is crazy, bro. It's like a mini little stadium in here. It's like a mini stadium in here, bro. Like, I'm telling you, like, going to a live boxing event is it, something different when it's live. You know what I'm saying? It's so different when it's live. I encourage everybody out there to go out to their local boxing gyms and go to local boxing events, such as this one. If your state got golden gloves, man, head on there, head up there to it. So, I'm not leaving right now. I'm just, I just have to go in the car and, and charge my phone a little bit. But, man, today was an, isn't it? It was an experience, all in all. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed myself coming here. I'm glad I did it. The tickets was only like $15. And, um, man, like, I really wish I would have competed now. You know what I'm saying? But that just goes to, like, doubting your own abilities and stuff like that. But um, the only reason I didn't compete was I just felt like I wasn't in any rush to really compete in something, in something like this. However, the best way to test your abilities is to put it to the test. You feel what I'm saying? So um, next time, maybe. Maybe next year. Who knows? But for sure, I'm definitely going to get some amateur fights in uh, real soon. I'm planning on trying doing it closer to the summertime. That way when I'm out of school and stuff like that, I will actually have time to train and focus on boxing and losing weight and cutting weight and training and not have to go to work for eight hours out the day when I could be training. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why I feel like it really wasn't a rush for me to, to, com to come and compete in this. But if you focus the vlog, um, like I said, man, this vlog is a real, real easy vlog. It was a simple vlog. It was just something to kind of keep posting and keep content out there. And all I wanted to do was just kind of expose y'all to amateur boxing. And basically, if you are in your own state and if you're interested in boxing, go to a amateur boxing event. Go to Golden Gloves. Go to any kind of open sparring, anything. So you can just watch and see exactly how um, how good some people are and, and the pace that they fight at, the styles, the, the grit. The, the hard work, dedication that all these people and these kids put into their, um, into the craft. And, um, it's, man, I know it's like, it's devastating losing, especially when it's like a split decision with some of them. But, you know what I'm noticing though? Like, amateur style of boxing and, and pro style of boxing are two different, a very, very different styles. And because of how I am, if I want to fight amateur, which is like a minute and a half, but for some reason, they're going three minutes. That's kind of like abnormal for amateur fights, like going three minute rounds. That's not normal. Just put that out there. Normally, amateurs are a minute to a minute and a half. Shit, sometimes maybe two. But I've never seen three minute amateur rounds. So, um, 
Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hey, also, if you're in the San Antonio area, I'm looking for a videographer, like a full-time one that's going to record, edit, stuff like that. So if you are a videographer in San Antonio, hit me up. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm about to go back in here and finish the rest of these boats. Uh, I came in to support one of my one of my good good, good friends in there, so uh, that's what I came to do, and that's what I'm going to do, okay? Like I said, subscribe to the channel. Leave a, leave a comment down below. If you want more vlogs like this, if you want more teaching vlogs, like me in the classroom, me at school, me at work, and stuff like that, also leave that in the comments down below, all right? Let's get this to about what? What y'all say about 100 likes? Let's do 100 likes, all right? It's, that's, e that's easy work. 100 likes, all right? Let's get it, man. Let's go. I'll see y'all next time. See y'all next vlog. Deuces.